three launchers and instant rockets still in here. We are yeah, almost yeah. ready. We have 61 rockets? Yeah. Nice. What is going on everybody? Today you're going to be watching a raid cam taking place on the Rusty Moose official server, commentated by yours truly, Guacamole Jones, and beautifully edited by Swimbo. There's a guy down there. He's, He's a spear, naked. leave him alone! The clan that is getting raided today is a Korean clan that calls themselves Hashtag. Now the reason Freed Wolf and E4V are going after this clan is because the Korean clan has offline raided multiple people, including a bunch of their allies. So they're gonna take a fat sack of the rockets, roll out, to get their revenge on this clan. Alright, let's go guys. Let's hit some trees real quick. Is this the base here? I had the TC4, so should I just blow it? No, 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 no. We need four rockets, the two first wall for splash. Then we 2C4, and then we rocket the TC. We're raiding this? Oh, uh, maybe. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Now, most of the raid team is going to stay hidden behind the rocks while two of the raiders build the raid base. All upgrade. They're staying out of sight. The raiders do spot them. They don't know the exact numbers of what they're going up against. Yeah, guys, get back. Don't right, shoot the numbers yet. So they're going up against a massive base. As you can see, the base has one main building, and then right next to it, it has a big fat tower. Not to mention that the base also has double stacked walls, and it even seems in some areas that there's triple stacked walls. Upgrade these roofs. Upgrade these roofs. Yeah, I have some uh, more. Okay, upgrade the sheet, the sheet floors, because it's going to take less sheet floors all on top. Not to mention, it's also on water, making it even more difficult to raid. When nighttime falls, they're going to have trouble keeping warm. And as you can see here, the raiders are making a pretty substantial raid base. It seems that most of it is being made out of sheet metal, and it has high external stone walls surrounding it. There's plenty of places to shoot out, so this is going to be a good tactical advantage for whenever they die, or whenever they need to respawn or defend from that base. Right now, the raiders are building a twig tower to see down into the furnace area to get a good look at what they're going to be blowing into. Now right here, you can see that the raiders are setting up an auto turret it's a pretty interesting strat. It can easily backfire though, if not well coordinated. Wasting no time at all, the raiders start blowing shit up. They're blowing into multiple areas of the base, shooting rockets all over the place. Walls are blowing up, things are crumbling. Starting with the small outer base, they score access to the tool cupboard inside. Get the TC. The defenders start shooting counter rockets down at the raiders, and as you can see in the background, one of the raiders actually got taken out by a turret that is unexpectedly around the corner. Oh, oh, there's a turret! You oh, should rock at that turret. Turret. Where is it? It's to the right inside the breach. I just died from it. Trying to take out the turret, they quickly peek around the corner and shoot some rockets at it, trying not to get their head blown off in the process. That turret is out of here. Right here. Uh, Infinix Prime briefly engages one of the Koreans before he closes the door. This was all open. We have you guys flanking. The raiders start blowing into the main base, keeping the pace up. The defender's base is heavily, heavily honeycombed, meaning that the raiders are going to have to use a bunch of rockets and a lot of resources to get to where they need to go. But don't worry, they brought plenty of those. Yeah, they're trying to they're trying to wall the breach. Somehow, one of the defenders managed to slip behind the raiders and place a wall where they first breached in. Sneaky little bugger. Yo, He's do we have, from the roof. Yo, do we have more rockets in here? The defenders try attacking from multiple angles, but Dopey takes one out from around the back corner. The raiders rocket out where they walled in. They have excellent control of the raid right now. The defenders are making it rain fire. 
They're shooting incendiary rockets down at the raiders, so it's making it harder for the raiders to actually maneuver around where they want to go. And if they accidentally run into the fire, they're going to be crispy, crispy barbecue. As you can see, the defenders are still shooting rockets at that breach, trying to stop them from getting in or out of their base. He's dead, he's dead. One of the defenders tries to make a play on the inside, and he is gunned down with a quickness. The TC should be somewhere. Then. As the raid continues, nighttime falls. Now this is going to make it even harder to raid, but also it could make it harder to defend. Come in with the get door right now. The raiders gain access to another cupboard inside and begin making a door to get full control of it. The defenders keep jumping down and trying to make plays at the breach, but every time they jump off, they're taking a lot of damage doing this, and the rear security for this raid team is pretty tight. Who's AK? I killed him, I killed him, I killed him! Yeah. What? Oh. Oh, I got you, I got you, bro. The defenders appear to have full control of the outer base building by now. This is going to give them better control of the area, and it's going to give them easier access into the enemy's main base. Are you guys good? You guys need help on left side? I got one more. Yeah, I'm dropping two code locks for you right you here. You jump down, someone jump down. The raiders start building onto the defender's base, creating their own doorway. There you go. Mm, behind is clear. Got in the water to the right side of the base. I just died. Got him. What the fuck? Ooh, one of the raiders got taken out by a rocket. It seems like the defenders aren't playing around anymore. They're bringing out the big guns. The defenders keep using a ledge to get over the raider's breach wall. They remove it. They're jumping down and coming in. Cover this, cover this here. Freedwolf kills a defender, gaining free access to the next airlock. Okay, let's pick this. Another door. Now that the airlock is open, the raiders can now start to pick the wall to save on rockets. I made something we can do. Who, uh, who has my AK? I whiffed everything. He's, he's behind the base right there. You're right, you're right, watch out. He's right here. A defender takes cover in between some walls, but he is quickly dispatched by Whirly, who sees him and kills him. I don't know, his launcher fell back. I there. have wood, that's that's all I got. Who's that naked right there? Oh yeah, it's not us. This base is pretty damn beefy. Realizing the bottom floors were all honeycombed, the raiders start using the outer base to get higher and gain access to the upper floors. I can put a box on top of that wall and then we can boost if I destroy the windows right there. No. Right, don't rock at the floor. The raiders start blowing the balcony, but carefully leave the floor layer intact to jump on. Now as you can see here, they placed the wood box on that twig wall. Now the reason why they placed that wood box there is so that they can boost up to the upper floors. They have no building privilege to get up to there, so that's why they're using the box to boost up. Ooh, great high scoring play by the defenders with a well placed rocket. This takes out some of the raiders. Even though the rocketing defender did make a nice play, it's not long before he's taken out by the rest of the crew. We need it patched. Oh wait, hold on. The raiders regroup quickly and make it up to the balcony. One of the raiders makes sure to watch that door in the back so they can't get flanked by one of those sneaky defenders. Another airlock. I need another rocket up here. This base is a shit ton of airlocks, so they're gonna have to use a bunch of rockets to get to where they want to go. Nikki just fell on the balcony. You want me to talk to, uh... Yeah, see if we can get them to get rockets here. Oh, Alright, we're at the core. We have three doors here. Whew, after all that, the raiders finally make it to the center of the base. All three. All three eight doors are hit. If you're doing we need, it. We're out of rockets. Yo, Infinex, where are you? 
Snipers on the defending team in their tower have been trading shots back and forth with the raid base almost this whole time. Show the body here. Tell what, tell CML what they have in this base. Since the raiders are so damn close to the loot room, they're gonna stop using rockets for now and they're gonna start picking in. Someone's going to kill them right now. Zon, tell me when you're in front of base so I can throw the rockets. He's dead. He's dead. The defenders seem to be resupplying each other. They probably have people crafting during the defense. Um, I just left base. I'll be there in a little bit here. A wild naked counter raider appears and throws a grenade at Hashtag's base. The defenders in their own tower and the raid team members in their raid base are still trading sniper fire back and forth. With a great shot, Aimbot fires an incendiary rocket and hits the roof of the tower. I no, that was a beautiful incendiary the... rocket. Jump jack. Behind you, behind you! Oh, he got me. Behind you guys. While the raiders were pickaxing away at that wall, one of the defenders actually managed to sneak behind them and take a few of them out. We rocket right there. Oh, Where? Hold on. We rocket right there. A beautiful incendiary rocket lands right on top of the defender's base. Pickaxe team is still chopping away, making progress, getting deeper and deeper into this base. Probably one floor. Yeah, we need to- <gasps> I fell in, dude. Krulin accidentally falls into the airlock, meaning he's trapped and he cannot get out. Oh, shit. Sure. Rocket right there, rocket right there. It'll break my wall too, maybe. It might well known PvPers to come and help. Yeah, yeah dude, it, it's damaging this wall. Gunfire erupts inside the base. He's gonna rocket you guys. Can what someone start here? breaking this door, wait, please? Wait, wait, we can boost rockets? up, guys. We can boost up. We have to kill him now. Desperately looking for the loot room, the raiders start boosting into the base. We can, use that. we can blow up ladder hatch and need rockets. I got rockets. Boost me up, someone. Wait, wait. Hashtag is also enemies with the clan CML. CML member Tequiller brings a few rockets to help the raiders finish their job. Yep, making one. Yep, yep. Uh, okay, Ma main, main loot room. This is their last stand. Yeah, this is the last stand. This is where the loot room is. How many rockets do we have coming up anymore? Here, the raiders are one door and one boost away from Hashtag's main loot room. Cover, you need to cover it so they can't walk. Come on, come on. Quickly. They get the M2? Alright, let's like, get some more open, open the door. dude. Need and, uh, I'm getting P2. Shouldn't rock people. Doesn't Shut matter. Oh, you're infinite. Oh, they closed the door. I okay, saw them okay. running away. They're, They're all no, naked. Cover. I'll, I'll They're cover opening? Too. Yo, follow me. Whoever. I just killed like... I, I, killer, I just got some... I got rocked. Boost me, boost me, boost me. Wait, what? The defenders throw a grenade, killing a raider, Infinix Prime. Krulin is the only member left upstairs now. It's open. Oh my god. They just closed it. Hashtag throwing more grenades down below their loot room. Krula needs help, and he needs it fast. Door's open, door open. Oh, Dude, they look put a what floor they grenade. did. Oh, crap. Oh, oh, it doesn't matter. A clutch play from the Koreans, they throw a metal floor grate down. The Koreans can now see below. This is an incredibly tactical play. They now know how many raiders they face down below. We need another person here to boost me up. Yeah, like... Oh, he got me, They're shooting us. What the fuck? What did he say for you Okay. Behind their base. I'm AK, dude. I'm dead. Killed him, killed him. I killed the guy that killed you. Oh, th there's another one. He's jumping down. The Koreans jump off of their loot room to hit the few raiders left inside while they're waiting for their boosters. Oh, he's dead, he's dead. The bolt is dead. They right, so walled you guys in. Oh, not walled in. Is that, is that, oh shit, that's not us? 
here. No, I, I think everybody's mind. dead in here. He's dead? I killed him? I'm, I'm boost gonna me, die. Boost me up. I'm dead. Yo, someone was dead. I killed him. I killed him. Alright, nice, nice. Kill the f- Okay, I'm coming. The raiders were getting caught up on this very difficult boost onto the defender's balcony. Until someone gets up there, Kluin is the only one left inside with multiple defenders trying to kill him. Wait, no, right here, I think. Here, so... Wait, rocket, rocket how, how, they, top, how did they get our TC? I'm oh dead. my god. A well-placed rocket seals the deal for the defending clan, hashtag. A second rocket then destroys the boost. Yo, they destroyed Hold the on. boost. Dopey does manage to get onto the balcony before the rocket strike, but he's also all alone on that floor. There's, there's a guy in the fucking breach. He's wearing purple. He's coming in. Yes, DK. That's him, yeah. The defenders did a great job of saving the rockets until they saw the opportunity of when they truly needed to use them. The raiders hurry to build back what they lost, but another incoming rocket stops them. I'm dead. You killed me. Yeah, dude, I'm fighting three of them right now. I'm running out the torch. They're rocketing. Fuck. They're adding doors to where you guys blew in at right now. The Korean clan hashtag is now putting doors back on their airlocks, effectively ending the raid. No, I'm dead. we need- we have, we're dead. in their loot room. In the end, they may have not been able to secure all the loot or completely destroy their base, but they did heavily grief it. And that's what these offline raiders deserve. Thanks for watching guys, and I hope you enjoyed. If you haven't already, go check out Swemba and Freed Wolf's channels. They'll be down in the description. Swemba's the one who did this amazing edit, and Freed Wolf is the man with the plan that raided the base. Hope you guys enjoyed, and have a good one.